On Christmas Eve many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheets. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for a sound, a sound I was afraid I'd never hear. To the North Pole, of course! This is the Polar Express! Hey! Hey, you! Yeah, you! Do you know what kind of train this is? Huh? Train. Do you know what kind of train this is? Well, do ya? Uh... Of course. It's a magic train. We're going to the North Pole. Yeah, I know it's a magic train. Actually, it's a Baldwin 284 S3 class Berkshire type steam locomotive. Built in 1931 at the Baldwin Locomotive Works. It weighs 456,100 pounds and has attractive force. Are we really going to the North Pole? Mm -hmm. hey, Isn't minute. that wonderful? Purple Shimer! Purple Shimer! Purple Shimers! Purple Shimers! <laughs> I can't stand children. They're the only ones silly enough to believe in Santa. It's toys that make Christmas fun, not Santa. Well, they certainly won't believe in Santa if they never reach the North Pole. And they won't reach the North Pole if they don't have tickets for the Polar Express. <laughs> and they'll never find these tickets before the conductor throws them off the train. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I want all those Herpesheimer's toys. I'm gonna ask Santa for all of them. Tickets? Tickets, please. I'll be coming back to check your tickets shortly. Make sure you have them ready. I've got my ticket right here. But I, I, I can't find my ticket. I never lose my ticket. I always keep it here, safe in my pocket. My ticket, it's gone! I, I lost, lost my ticket! My ticket. Lost if we don't find our tickets, we're all gonna get kicked off the train. It's standard procedure, you know? Everybody calm down. Now why don't you go and search for your tickets in the other train cars, and if the conductor comes by, we'll cover for you while you're gone. Okay! okay. They might not be able to find their tickets by themselves. Maybe one of us should go and help them. Okay. You stay here and keep an eye out for the conductor. I'll go and help find their tickets. Boom! <laughs> 
has my ticket and it won't give it back. Don't be afraid. If we go in there together, it won't be so scary. Do you know which Jack in the Box has your ticket? I, I don't know. I was so frightened. I nearly dropped my flashlight when I was looking around in there. Okay, here's the plan. You hold the flashlight and I'll check Jack in the Boxes. Try to be brave. I don't like the dark much either. Uh, I'll try. Another toy park. Fantastic. That wasn't the one. That wasn't the one. The one. Hey, why did you run off? I can't open the toys without you. It's too scary. I don't want to go back in there. I'm pretty sure I know which toy it's in. We'll find it in no time. Okay, I'll give it one more shot. Hey, did you see that? The boxes have switched places. Spooky. Now, which toys haven't we tried? That wasn't the one. together. I couldn't have done it without your help. But hurry back before the conductor starts looking for us. I came to help you look for your ticket. Obviously. I know where my ticket is. There's a gang of nasty puppets in there, and they've refused to give it back. I'm not afraid of some old puppets. I'll go in there and get your ticket back for you. Come to get my friend's ticket back. If you want to stop me, you better do it now. You'll have to 
get past my puppets. Oh. You want that ticket? <laughs> oh, there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Railway regulations that throw objects inside the train cars? Well, they started it and was the only way I could get your ticket. By the way, here it is. Well, thanks for helping me get my ticket back. If I were you, I'd be getting out of here now before the cook finds out what you did with all that food. Good idea. I'm gonna go find the others and see if they found their tickets. me if you want to pull this emergency brick and I don't believe that you can do it do you <laughs> Here! 
in the places pulled that cord? He did. You. In case you didn't know, that cord is for emergency purposes only. And in case you weren't aware, tonight is Christmas Eve. And in case you hadn't noticed, this train is on a very tight schedule. Now, young man, Christmas may not be important to some people, but it is very important to the rest of us. But, but, uh, he was just trying to stop the train so that kid could get on. Young man, is that what happened? Well, let me remind you, we are on a very tight schedule. And I've never been late before, and I am certainly not going to be late tonight. Now, everybody, take your seats, please. Thank you. We still gotta find the rest of the tickets. You keep looking for the tickets, and I'll distract the conductor. All right, you've got a deal. I wonder where the other tickets are. <laughs> you look like a good sport. The ticket you're looking for is on the other side of this train car. If you can get the ball past me, then you can pass. Let's play! angry? Someone messed up all the food he made. Now he's got to make more. Uh, yeah, that was me. But it wasn't really my fault. Those puppets started it. Don't worry, though. I'm going to sneak in there and get your ticket back. Okay, just be careful. The cook is not in a good mood at all. What's to do? No children allowed in the kitchen. I have to hurry. Oh my, there's not 
that much time. Phew! That was close. He sure is in a bad mood. Here's your ticket. Oh, thank you. You're so brave. Oh, what a racket! We'll never hear you if you go through now. Only join the others. You've got the key. find his ticket, and the conductor will never suspect a thing.
That's how they get you. to me. We are all going to the North Pole, and we need those tickets. Let's go! Yeah, we gotta find those tickets. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! off the train. Blasted boy, messing up my plans. Who does he think he is pushing us toys around like that? But I've still got a trick up my sleeve. Let's see what happens to the girl when she realizes she's lost her ticket. <laughs> They'll never find it here. We've all got something we'd like to say to you. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you for finding your ticket. Uh, that's okay. It was nothing, really. Okay. Well, if it was nothing, we should probably all sit down and stop blocking the car. Railroad Regulation 74 forbids passengers from obstructing fire exits, you know. You're such a know-it-all. He's right about one thing, though. We should get back to our seats. I can hear the conductor coming. 